guys, thanks for stopping by my channel. Today's video, I have something fun to share with you. I just received some scrapbooking papers from a company, I think they're called Bleds, and one of their representatives approached me via email asking if I'd like to try one of their scrapbooking paper packs. And if you've been watching me lately, you know I'm obsessed with these scrapbooking papers for some reason, I love them, and I love looking through them. So I said yes, and they let me pick a pattern from the styles that they have. They have some bigger sizes too. This one I'm showing you is a six by six paper pack. They also have 12 by 12 paper packs, so a little bit larger. But ultimately I decided on this vintage rose pack. It did come two of these together in one plastic package. So let's look through them quickly and I'm thinking about making something with these. I haven't really decided what to do with these yet. They are pretty thick. They say they are 160 GSMs. I do like the vintage style of them. I have some vintage ephemera that I got from Etsy some time ago. I think I did do a video on it. I'll stick the card in if you've missed it, but I thought these might work nicely together with those papers. And I also have this vintage children's book. Maybe we can incorporate some of these papers together. So I wanna do something vintage looking and I don't know quite what that will be yet. So through the magic of television, we'll transition into me making something and we'll come back and check out the final project. So stay tuned. All right, you guys, so I think I'm pretty much happy with the placement of all of my collage items. I didn't end up using any of my vintage ephemera. Um, you know what happened? I was in the process of pulling some of this out and I got really sidetracked and I started reading the letters and then I got curious and I was wondering about the people in the letters. So I started Googling, these are, um, really old letters from like the 1940s or even older. And then I started feeling bad that I had these people's personal letters. And I was like, oh my goodness, I can't use this for a collage. So I didn't end up using it. The only vintage, really vintage thing I have here is this old photograph. 
from um, a lot of photos that I got on eBay. So everything's not really tacked down here. I wanted to show you this little thing that I made. Um, I made this little pocket out of some of the scrapbook papers. I watched this tutorial on TikTok. It didn't really come out that great, so I gotta practice a little bit. And I, all these little items can come out. And there's a pocket here and another pocket in here, but I already glued these tags in and taped them into the first pocket. So I kind of like the idea of this pocket because I, since this is a vintage, actual vintage photo, I did, I didn't want to mess it up too bad, like in case I decide to use it for something else, or maybe I'll find this Mamie Burkett someday or their relatives and I can give back this photo. So I like that it's not necessarily a permanent thing. And I stuck some of these little strips back here. I cut this page out of one of the Bloods scrapbooking papers like that. And there's some things I might change around, but I think I like how it, it looks. I have these little lace doilies for some contrast. I found some fabric samples. At one point I was ordering free samples of everything I could find, like wallpapers, fabrics, paint chips. So I have a collection of that kind of stuff. I had some Dollar Tree papers, some washi tape, and a page from a book. And then all the background papers are from the Vintage Rose set. So if you guys are interested, I will have the link to this Vintage Rose paper pack down below in my description box. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. And I hope you guys all have a really great rest of your day. Happy coloring, happy collaging, and I'll see you next time.